welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact in this video we would help you to debug any problems that you come across when you are trying to get the initial JSP servlets application running during our JSP servlets or the Spring MVC codes. Now, you're having a problem with getting the initial application running. So what can you do? Let's look at it. So I'll take this link, which is present in here. That's the starting point, And you can open that up. If you look at this, this contains step-by-step -step details of the codes and a wide variety of other stuff. But what we are interested in is this step one getting up and running with the web application in tomcat right so let's do this again step by step i'll open up my eclipse it has a wide variety of other projects let's not worry about them let's stay file new maven project make sure that you're using at least eclipse oxygen so make sure that you're using one of the latest versions of eclipse that's number one next i'll do file new maven project so i'm doing a file new maven project that's important so it's file new maven project we are going to create a maven project maven is an awesome tool don't worry about what it is all about i would want to create a simple project i don't want to worry about the archetype selection and i would say next it asks you for a group id and artifact id the thing is all these don't really matter so i'll say com dot in 28 minutes and i'll call this first web application and i would say debugging and leave the version at snapshot that's cool and we would want to package it as a, a var so a web application so we would be using var file and now you can go ahead and click finish once you click finish you would see that eclipse would do a lot of things and after a little while you should have the application coming up we called it the first web application debugging as soon as I open it, you'd see that there is an error coming up. It says web.xml is missing. Don't really worry about it. What we will do is we'll create web.xml very soon. So this is what you should see. The project structure keeps changing with every version of Eclipse. So don't really worry about what the project version is and all that kind of stuff. What is important for us is what we would be doing right now. What I'll do is I'll take this pom.xml which is present in here. So I'll take this pom.xml as it is. So I'm copying the entire thing starting from project to slash project and once i paste it in i have now pasted the entire thing in so from slash project to the end the only error now i am seeing is web.xml is missing that's cool but once you save this what you can do is go ahead and copy the login servlet so i'm going to copy this as it is so i'm taking the code from web app to the end so i'm taking all that and I'm copying it into source main Java. So it, remember the folder, it's source main Java. So paste it in there. You have the login servlet compiling. So that's cool. That means you are having the pom.xml set up well and all the dependencies are available and you are able to get the whole thing working. So if you see compilation errors in here, then it means that your Maven setup is not right. So there is some problem with your Maven setup. The troubleshooting guide has, if you go back to the troubleshooting guide, this has information about how you can debug Maven setup. So the typical issues which you would have with initial configuration is with Maven. So either you are not connected to internet, you are behind a proxy, or you are not using a JDK. So if you get an error like that, then this is the thing. If you are not connected to internet or you are behind a proxy, then look at this kind of errors. You would get, I'm unable to resolve a specific error. So these troubleshooting guide configurations would help you. Or it might be that your files which are downloaded by Maven are corrupt. So you can look at the options which are suggested in here and you can try them out. So if you look at the troubleshooting guide, if you just go a few pages down, this is where all the things which are helpful to fix your Maven repository are present it's important that you use maven because in all the professional projects we make use of maven maven is an awesome tool it might take a little while to get it set up but once you are set up with maven you would see the power of maven now we 
copied the prompt.xml, we copied the login servlet.java. You can see that it's created in a package called web app. That's perfect. The last thing that we would need to do is to make sure that we get the web.xml right. So I'm going back to the link where we had the code, login servlet.java. We need to create web.xml. The important thing is to follow the folder structure, source, main, web app, web inf, web.xml. So source main is here, but there is no web app. So we need to create web app. So I'll go here, source, main, and there is web app in here. So inside web app, what we need to do? We need to create a new folder, right click, new folder. And what is the name? We call it web underscore inf. Be very careful with the name because this is exactly what it should be. So it's web hyphen inf. So you can look at it here. So it's web hyphen inf. And inside that, I would go ahead and say right click new file. I could have said XML file as well. And I'll call this web.xml. The web inf and web.xml are very important things. The name should match exactly as they are. And I'll go ahead and go to the source. I've copied the information which is present in here from starting from web app to the web app and saved it. Now, if you go to the pom.xml, pom.xml does not have any errors at all. That's cool. Now I can do right click on this. You can say Maven update project and say OK. Now you'd see that the error also disappears. So now you have all the things that you would need to get your login servlet up and running. So the important things to check are the login servlet is in a folder called web app. That's good. So we are in a package called web app and this is in a folder called source main Java. That's cool. That's number one. Number two is the folder of web.xml. It's in source main web app webnf web.xml. That's cool. The other one is the pom.xml. So the pom.xml contains all the code that we put in here and we don't see any errors. And that's it. Now I can do right click, run as, and say maven build, and the command is in here. It's tomcat colon run. No full stop at the end. So it's just tomcat colon run. So tomcat 7 colon run. So tomcat 7 because we are using tomcat 7 and the command is run. And all that you need to do is say run. You would see that it would take a little while if this is the first time you are running it. You would see that there are a lot of stuff happening and you can see running var on tomcat localhost 8080. And I can go ahead and say localhost 8080 in the browser. Awesome! Your first servlet is coming up and this is working fine. So the typical mistakes people do is not copying the right dependencies into the pom.xml, not having the right path for web.xml, and not having the login servlet copied in the right way. Make sure that you get all these right, and it's very easy to get your web application up and running. If you still have a problem, go back to the question answers forum in Udemy and post your question down there and I would be helping you out. Make sure that you post what is the error you see on the screen. Make sure that you post what is the thing you see on the console when you run the application. And make sure that you execute the URL and see what is the log which is present in here and you post that in the question answer forum as well. So make sure that you're posting in as much information as possible so that we can help you to debug the problem easily. Good luck. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online, and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 Minutes.